Hello, my name's Brett Baker. I'd like to thank you for buying a Kirby bale processor. Today we're going to go over a couple items that you need to look for uh, when you first purchase it and start using it. This Kirby feeder is equipped with a uh, override slip clutch and it's here under this cover and uh, it is non-adjustable and it's designed so when you jam something up you don't break a shaft or something. Hydraulic flow control, which controls the speed of the floor. And when you first get started, you're going to want to probably start it in the middle. This has a 1 to 10 uh, numbering on it, and I'd probably start it right there at about 5. And if you want a little bit more feed out, you just bump it up a little bit more. Uh, key note is the faster the floor is, the less that it will process the feed. And uh, you slow it down. If you want to break the feed up a little more, you'd have the slower floor go a little slower and it'll chop it up just a little more. All right, we've placed uh, a jack holder up here so that when you're running all winter and you're hooked up to your tractor that this isn't in your way anymore. So we just take it, you can take it off here and put it up on the wall, get out of your way. It's very important that when you start the unit, you hit the PTO first, which turns on your beaters and your uh, discharge, and then you turn on the floor. And then when you shut it off, you want to shut off the floor first, then hit the PTO and shut it off. And that way it clears your beaters and then it'll be ready to go for when you start up again. These blades are designed so that uh, when they get worn down, you can actually just turn them around and get a little more life out of them. When you open up the cover here, you want to check your uh, sprockets here. You want to make sure that they are not walking, that they're not moving. And you check that by uh, cinching down, make sure your bolts are tight. Another important item that you want to look at when you first get your new bale feeder, your chains are going to start loosening up. And so to check that, you lift up in the center of the span. You lift up, and it should be between four and six inches in the center of the span. You get more than that, uh, and you need to be tightening it up. If you'll notice, this chain guide stops. It's about eight feet back of the, the end. And that is because if you accidentally push the, your chain out of the track, it gives it a chance to get back on track before it goes into the sprocket. The Kirby bale feeder is equipped also with a, a twine hooks. And that's so after you cut your twines, a lot of times it's hard to pull the, the twine off the bale. So you can gather them together, dally it around, and then go feed and it'll pull it off by itself. This is where you go to tighten up your floor chains and each floor chain has two, two bolts and you want to make sure when you tighten them that you're tightening them evenly so that sprocket is square to the chain. 